Hello my strong strong friends and welcome to part two of my train like a pro Serena Williams edition. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the workout portion of this video. Be sure to check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll just get into my time at the tennis court. My friend Eric, who is also co-owner of Strong Strong Supply with me. It's three of us, we own the company. But Eric didn't ever let me know that he used to play tennis. So I had him put me through a few drills and help me out with my serve and things like that. Honestly, in regards to training, it was just fun to be outside playing with my friends. I did end up getting a little bit of a sunburn, which was unfortunate. But yeah, in regards to like, people always ask me like what tips I would have for weight loss or for getting into the gym. And really the most important thing is just to have fun. It's not much more complicated than that. Just choose something that you actually do enjoy. And if you have a hard time finding something that you enjoy, then just try new things and be open to new ideas. That's my best advice that I can get um, give to you because everybody knows that I'm pretty bad at getting in cardio, but I can be convinced if I'm able to have fun with my friends and like have a few laughs and possibly have a burger after, I can be convinced to get outside and get moving. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do the Train Like a Pro series where I try workouts and try to learn sports from other athletes. So check out the rest of that series and if you like these kind of videos, be sure to give it a like and comment down below who you want me to train like next. Okay, bye-bye. Wow. Maggie, did you know that in old time powerlifting rules, back when people first started wearing knee wraps and stuff, they used to like cut or place tennis balls behind their knees for better rebound. Oh yeah. That's like That's the OG way. So just bounce out of it. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. This is what they're for. For squatting, right? And for chairs. For chairs. Meg, I think I think you're a better position. Give me the rack. I think I think what you need to do. Go, go get that ball. Is that right? Yeah, that's how you do it. I think. <laughs> Did you see the video of the kid yeah, who ran into smacking, the wall? Yeah. <laughs> that's a, me. A... Okay, Eric. Let me show you what I got. You're gonna hit these guys. First of all, anytime I've ever held something, it's been in this position. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. give me like two drills that Serena Williams may have done when she was three. You know exactly. So usually you start at the net and then you work your way back. You'll play basically like mini tennis. Okay, yeah. first I'm gonna show you how I serve. Okay. All right, you can show us a thing or two and then- I gotta hit it across. Make it into that box. Do I throw it up or do I like bounce it? No, you throw it up. <laughs> you throw it up and then you, and then you hit it. Oh, oh, that's not terrible. Uh -huh. I mean, it went over the net. <laughs> <Like> mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like left that was it. <laughs> the heck. Here we go. It's pretty good. I'm ready. You ready? Everybody, this is my friend Eric. You have a cool shirt, man. Uh, Where'd you get please it? Please explain who you are and why you're a tennis expert. Played a little bit of tennis in high school and club tennis. I know a thing or two about warming the bench. That's about it. That's it. That's all you got? That's all you need to know, though, right? That's all you need to know. A while ago, I had a boyfriend that was not Ryan. Wait, 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 wait. Is what? And he sounds shitty. He tried to teach me how to play tennis, and let me tell you, it was probably one of the worst experiences of my life. And now he's an ex-boyfriend. And now he's an ex-boyfriend. So today, I'm giving it another shot. Instead of asking my boyfriend to teach me, I'm asking an expert slash friend. That's the way to do it. This is the tennis portion of Train Like a Pro Serena Williams. We already did her workout on the Nike app. But today we're a little dope pump see, going. Always, I live with a dope pump. But today we're gonna see if I can actually beat her in a game of slapstick. <laughs> in a game of racquetball. All right, let's get going. <laughs> let's get out there. Pretend you're shaking this thing. Shaking the yeah, hand? Shaking my hand? With my like left that, hand? Like that. That's I how you never do that. that. Do you hook rip it? When you, no, no hook grip. Okay. Uh, you can use straps if you want, but you're gonna swing from from low to high. You're gonna keep it like this. So it's actually going to go, go like that. Okay, uh, first we're gonna do some mini tennis, is what Eric told me, and we're just gonna stay in this small box and try and rally. Just focus on 
feeling the ball. Okay. Connect to the ball. I am Serena Williams. Got it. I'm ready. I don't think we got on film, but he said, you're pretty good, actually. Focus on finessing the ball. I used to play tennis before I started lifting weights, and the ball and racket used to feel really heavy, but after I started lifting, um, I actually, my, I was actually able to use my legs more. You know, like an uppercut? If you're gonna like hit, hit someone in a bar with an uppercut? Show us your uppercut, show us your uppercut. I know how to hit someone with an uppercut. Let's see it. Is I that... throw them into the sky for the sun. I don't know anything about tennis, but if if you hit it out of bounds and I still return it. So if, if I hit it out of bounds, it's your point. Even if you decide to return it. That's kind of cool. It's dead on contact. Okay. So you just went over the forehand. So the next thing we're gonna do is show you how to hit a backhand. Basically the same, the same grip. You put your index finger directly on the panel that's below the racket. So like that, cut a little bit. <clears throat> so it's a little bit, it's oh, not like you're exactly like, like you're shaking um, someone's hand. And then you're gonna wrap your, your second one around it, so like that, except okay. like that. And then- So you mix grip it. Exactly, mix grip it. Nice. nice, you know that one. And then basically when you go to hit, your left, your left foot is gonna come forward first. Exactly, and then you're gonna transfer the weight from your back foot forward. Exactly. So you're gonna, you're gonna step through with your back foot. Oh yeah. Serena Williams hits a two-handed backhand. A two-handed backhand? Yeah. What's that mean? Versus a one-handed? Hand, but oh, so you're teaching me this Serena Williams back then? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's okay, buddy. That was not the Serena Williams back then. <laughs> <laughs> Can you let us know what are Serena Williams like most? What makes her the best? Um, Serena Williams hits the ball probably harder than any other woman on the tour. But obviously if I were to be a great tennis player, I would be just as fast. She has really good footwork, um, but more than anything else, that. she has a champion's mindset. Oh, <laughs> oh like Roger. <laughs> We joke every once in a while with our friends. What does Roger even say about the champion's mindset? What's you, the joke? You there? gotta be ready to open at a PR. Uh, you gotta be <laughs> taking medals. <laughs> That's what Roger thinks is the champion mindset, but we think a champion's mindset is being smart, calculated, strategic, clutch. Roger disagrees. Hey man, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Okay, but, okay, so champion's mindset. What the heck? Might not have that in regards to uh, Roger's school So you know, so you thought. know how in, in powerlifting and in weightlifting, you should be working on visualizing the lift before you... How much visualization do you do? Before you attempt it? Yeah. You should honestly be doing the same thing in tennis as well. So okay. that's the first step to that's having a champion's about. mindset. How can I kick Eric's ass in this game of tennis? All right, do you think we're ready for a full match? Yeah, you know, um, let's teach you how to serve first. Okay. And then afterwards we can play um, basically a short tie break. Uh, it's first to seven points. Okay. Uh, win by two. So you have to win seven, five, or eight, six. Okay. Or nine, All right. Eight. All right, guys, last drill. I'm going to learn how to serve. A big part of serve is going to depend on your toss. 
Oh yeah? And this foot's gonna be a little bit, a little bit further back over here. Exactly like that. Throwing the ball is directly in line with your body and then also directly above your body. So that when you make contact, it's gonna be at the highest point, right okay. in the center of the ball. Okay. Maybe right here. Okay. And then let it like float above your head. So just practice that a couple times. So that was good. We wanted to come back a little bit more okay. so it's in line with her body. That was good. That was actually really good. That one is a little too far back. <laughs> no, you did good. Good job. When you snatch, you don't want it to be like here. Yeah. And you also don't want it to be low bar. Too far back. You want it to be directly Can we just above you. Eric's Weightlifting references are so good right now. <laughs> so you want it to be balanced. That's perfect. That's good. Okay, master the throw. Right. Master the throw. Now you just got to go off and just <laughs> Just close your eyes and hope so, for the best. Um, so, yeah, exactly. Or you swing through. What does my lower body do when the serve? So, the thing is you're supposed to use your legs in the serve. So you're supposed to bring the rack like this. You're actually supposed to to bend your legs and knees into the serve and then spring up okay. and use your legs to generate the generate the power. Yeah. Same thing as same thing as weightlifting. Oh my god. All of your legs. It's not a it's not an upper body motion. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that was actually really good. Load up your legs. A little too much juice on that one. We messed the serve! <laughs> Good job, Maggie. A little too much. I'm kind of too having much a good time. Let me tell you that. First time, I don't know what was going on. Oh, oh that one went way over there. Uh -oh. <laughs> a good action clip. Uh, it would have been better if you hit it. Good job. Whoa, home run. Okay, we're gonna go more down. More <laughs> down. Nice. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm fine. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Nice. <laughs> that was in, dude. It was on it was on the line. No, that was out. No, it was out. It was out. We can go to Hawkeye. That was out. That was two white lights. All right, tiebreaker. You won. Okay, you guys, that's the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching me do Serena Williams' workout. That's on the Nike Pro app. And I'm trying to play some tennis. So I'm going to keep playing because it's kind of fun. Uh, and we'll see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not already <laughs> subscribed, be sure to do that. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of the Train Like a Pro series, give this video a like. And um, give us suggestions. And give us suggestions see? for what we're going to see next time. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. If you guys like this video and want to get some ideas on how to strength train and how to get jacked, 
like me and Serena, you can check out my strength program on bodybuilding.com all access. It's called Uplifted. The link is right down below. It'll be the first one right there. Okay, I can't wait to teach you guys how to lift and have some fun. Bye.